What is up YouTube, it's your boy Mousetrap and we back in the building and I'm just here to let you guys know that the giveaway for the two Sundown subs, Terra Amps is active and is ready to be won by one of you guys. You can simply be purchasing, purchasing um, this decal. Um, there's a shirt with this same exact logo on the decal that can get you entries to go ahead and um, win these subs. You can purchase these items and get details on the giveaway by simply going on to my Instagram which is mousextrap or, or um, the official YouTube Instagram which is mousetrap underscore gang. Go on those uh, Instagrams and shoot us a DM and we'll give you all the details and if you want to get your entries in we'll go ahead and process all your orders. Get your um, uh, purchases that you've got to enter sent out to you guys um, immediately. So get your entries in. The giveaway ends May 2nd and I will be announcing the winner on Cinco de Mayo. All the information for the giveaway you can find it in the description of each video from here till the giveaway ends um, the information to purchase where to send money to who to contact everything is in the description of each video um, that's gonna be uploaded from here till the giveaway ends man get those entries in when you guys gonna be um, running around with these speakers inside your vehicles and it could be you by just simply purchasing a sticker or a t-shirt man um, now let's get back to the video and you know get your entries in man there's this guys that's nothing but motivation right there for me, man. My dream car is a Corvette. Quick, man, look, check this out at your local neighborhood. This is Pizza Hut. You got a Rolls Royce, man. Look at that, baby blue with the Rolls Royce wheels and dark tint, man. I think this is like a wrap or wraith, whatever you call it. Look at this thing. This thing is clean. Baby blue, man. You see the cars like this here and there throughout the city, man. So, it's really badass. Okay, for so today I am bringing you along. We're shopping real quick. I gotta pick up a few things, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a few items that you can buy here at Walmart so you can start working on some door panels, man. So subscribe to the channel and let's walk around here. But today I got the whole squad. We got Millie, we got Junior, and we got the guy. Anna Lita. Anna Lita, my wife. <laughs> subscribe to her channel as well. I will drop the, uh, the link to her channel so you guys can subscribe to it. Let's just guys ready to get the M&Ms. Go put the M&Ms inside the thing if you're going to get them. Yep. So today's Saturday, so it's somewhat a family day. And I do need, I did need it to get a few things so I can start working on the door panels for the Silverado. But here at Walmart, I, I'm able to find a few things that I can use to work on it. So I'm going to show you what those items are. And so you don't have to go all the way to like Home Depot or Harbor Freights to buy stuff, man. And, so and let's get to it real quick. Look at this girl. And, 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 and there is my dad sticks up in there. Yeah. Okay, so what? we're going to look at something real quick. No. Let's say hi to YouTube. Hi. Okay. So. All right, real quick. So we are in the uh, arts and crafts section of the... Uh, Walmart so right now I'm going to show you the type of material that you could use um, called fleece for the fiberglass and then some like hot glue sticks that you're going to eventually need and all these products you can go you can buy them as you go and um, get them ready so by the time you're ready to fiberglass you already got everything ready to rock and roll so I always like to buy all my materials and have everything that I need so when it's time to um, get to work um, I have everything. I don't have to stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. So, right here, we are looking for the fleece. So you can either buy like this one, but I always try to find something that's on sale. Um, but any fleece pretty much works, whether if it has like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers thing, some kitties, some dogs, whatever, because it's still gonna get sanded and everything down. So it really doesn't matter as long as it's fleece. It's like the blanket material. And the fleece is actually after you do the rings, you know, you put this material on there and then you put the fiberglass resin um, and it gets hardened. And then you put the um, the fiberglass mat and it, you know, gets hard. And that's the shiny part of it after you resin. Then you have to sand that down. But like I said, you know, right here, like you can get this one, one and a half yards for six ninety six, But you just find the one that's on sale and, you know, it's going to get sanded down anyways and throw bundles so you really don't need it. So fleece is a must you got to get it like I said they, they do have thick ones and non-thick ones 
the thicker the better, man, because it'll just, you know, make that, that um, panel, you know, the fleece real thick, so it's a good layer when you sand, man, so get the thicker one. The lighter one's still good, but you still have to put a lot of fiberglass mat and um, resin on it so it gets really nice and um, durable. Okay, and then right here, um, you could actually get some uh, wood glue sticks because this is what you can mount the rings um, to your panel and the sticks, like the, um, the mounts for the rings um, with the, the hot glue on there. Some people tend to use glue, I use glue as well, but I use a special two-part glue that you can buy like from like a 12-volt website. Um, it's the glue in the activator, but the Gorilla Glue ones, man, these things work pretty good. They do have the bigger ones, like these are the good ones. Always try the ones that are like high temp because when you're building stuff, um, you may leave a panel inside the, your car and it's hot outside and you don't want that uh, um, the hot glue to soften up and it um, melt and your rings that you're trying to mount on there so you can fiberglass and fleece um, just fall, you know, and sag. So always get the high temp ones because, you know, you're going to probably leave a pan on the sun and you need it to hold up pretty good. So Gorilla Glue, like I said, is the, 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 the good one. All right, so these craft sticks right here, um, you can get the bigger ones. They have the smaller ones and the bigger ones. Um, they do have huge ones, but we don't need those. But So basically what these are for is when you're mixing your fiberglass, um, your resin, with the MEK in the resin, you can use these right here to go ahead and stir them instead of looking for like a stick or using your paintbrush. Um, man, quick $2, you can buy a good amount of sticks and stir it and do it the proper way. Um, and you have so many of them, you know, it doesn't matter if one gets, you know, dirty, broke or whatever, man, just grab another one. You know, always have all the materials that you need. And these uh, sticks are good to stir the resin up. So you mix your MEKP and, you know, it gets mixed up good. So when you go lay your resin down, man, it, it's ready to rock and roll and nice, um, evenly um, spread out. Guys, I want to get the toys All right, so now I am going to go ahead and show you guys. So you can actually get these right here. But as you can see, they're a dollar forty-seven just for one of these, and ninety-seven cents for this. But if you go to Harbor Freights, you can buy a whole box with like I think like thirty of these for like two bucks, man. So Harbor Freights is the place to go get the paint brushes, and it's the exact same one. So Harbor Freights, two dollars. There you've seen it. It's one forty-seven per brush, man. So Harbor Freights is the place to go. So now let's look over here and. Um, you know, acetone, you can get some from here. 20 bucks the gallon. You're always gonna need uh, um, acetone because as the we keep dropping the videos of the fiberglass, you'll see how much um, acetone is used to do them the right way, you know what I'm saying? Because there's so many people that build so many fiberglass doors but leave out so many steps and probably don't know a few extra steps to take so um, it gets built right so you know you don't have never no problem sanding and all that stuff and we'll tr teach you guys a lot of tricks with, with the uh, acetone a mask is always good when you start sanding stuff down because you don't want to breathe all that stuff it's bad um they have the black gloves you know because you don't want to get your hands sticky and get that um resin on there because it does um get you know pretty hot when it starts reacting and you don't want it on there you can get yourself some nice gloves some thicker ones so you don't get the like the fibers from the fiberglass on there because that stuff is very, very, very itchy, man. You don't like that stuff. Um, let's see what else we got here. You can get some wiping cloths that you're going to need because you're going to need to wipe a lot of stuff down. But like I said, Harbor Freight, you can probably get that a little bit cheaper. Um, measuring cups. You know, to dump the resin in there. And, you know, you throw the resin in the MEK. Then those craft sticks that I just showed you, man, you just mix it. See what I'm saying? And these cups are 177. But I think you just man just go to like a dollar store and just buy cups for like 50 cents and it'll do the, the same thing. But make sure that they're plastic or paper so the uh, resin don't eat it up. You can use this uh plastic cloth cloth um, in case you don't want to get um, resin on the floor or on the table that you're working on. So you can always keep a nice um, clean environment. Because, like I always say, the cleaner you are working, the better all your projects are always going to come out. And it's less work at the end to clean up. Masking tapes is going to be a big part of if you're making um, pods, panels, you're trying to make the molds, you know, 
always find the one that's the, the high adhesive, um, something like this, um, because you won't want the tape to lift up as it's drying because that fiberglass will make it react and make it lift. And you want to tape to always stay stuck down so it gives you a, a perfect mold whenever you lay the fiberglass mat down to make the mold of the panel that you're trying to build on. So the tape is very, you know, very, very important. If you're trying to make a mold or if you're just trying to tape parts of the door panel you're not trying to get resin on because um, that resin will eat through it and it'll leave like a stain mark on there so we got the my boy here today he's he, he needs to learn about this fiberglass stuff because one day he's gonna be fiberglassing too right here they do have some uh, air compressor tools um, they do sell all kinds of stuff but like I said man Harbor Freights for that type of stuff is the best place to go um, you know you can get your sandpaper down here but honestly, Home Depot is a good place to get sandpaper fast. Or just go to your local neighborhood um, bait, paint auto body store that where they sell paint for the cars. You know, you'll find good deals inside there. Um, they do have these, these uh, discs right here. 36 grit is good to knock off that first um, layer of fiberglass resin that you lay down after you... Um, fiberglass resin your door panel to get its shape and that fiberglass too um, the 36 grit is good to knock off you know all the rough parts of it then you know you can come back with the 60 grit and in the 80 grit you start getting into the D8 to really like smooth it out throw your body filler and all that stuff but 36 is a good one to go ahead and uh, knock the, the big of it big part of it out and these are just like your average you know tools that you can use you know, obviously, you know, you're gonna need a little blade to make sure if you any stuff that you need to cut out, excess of this or that. Safety glasses if you're gonna be sanding. Um, you don't want stuff in your eyes and way better gloves than the other ones. Like even these three bucks, man, they're good. If you wanna step up and get yourself some nice ones, eight, eight, ten bucks. This is the automotive paint section. Um, let's see what we got. Let's see if they got any resin in here so you guys can see. Little quick, usually like a gallon resin will cost like a hundred bucks nowadays. Look right here, fiberglass resin. What is this? This is probably like a quart, like a quart will run you 40 bucks, so a half will run you like almost 80 dollars here at Walmart. And this is the fiberglass mat right here. I always buy the fiberglass mat here at the Walmart, it works really good, it's nice and thick. I love it. This is the, the hardener for the resin, but usually when you buy it, it comes one with it. And this, you know, I always buy a lot of these right here. Um, I don't tend to buy none of the sandpaper or none of that stuff here. Because, like I said, I can get that at the, um, the auto body store. But a quick fact, my dad actually works at Yellowfin, which is like a real big high-end um, bolt um, like fabricator. And so he always gets me all that stuff, man. So big shout out to my dad. And he is a fiberglass master, so he gives me all the tips and everything, and he helps me um, get everything done. But I do a lot of it. But throughout the years of him teaching me, you know, I know how to work it pretty good. Over here is another section of some gloves that you can get if you really want to buy some nice ones. But you want nice lightweight gloves, man, because you're going to be using your hands a lot. So you want it to, uh, you know, be comfortable and get your job done without having to be like, oh, man, I literally swap these gloves out. All right, so I'm going to show you a quick little bonus. Um, I used to like you know try to put TVs in the uh, trucks or in the cars. So using like um, computer monitors, as long as it has like an RCA input, man, you can put TV screens on door panels, um, pot panels, and all kinds of stuff, man. So say for example, if I wanted to put TVs in my bed of my truck when I'm doing the blow through, just to make it look nice and put speakers on it. I can go ahead and I can use uh, computer monitors um, because it has RCA inputs on it and I can use it and it will give me a good quality picture. So let's look over here real quick. So right, so right now they don't have computer monitors because this Walmart just has like the basic stuff. But as you can see, like you can get a TV like this and put it back there. Put one like this one, maybe this one. You know, all you're gonna have to do is get a power inverter, connect it to your battery so then you can use uh, like the outlet that it needs. So you can put a TV back there. So on my Silverado, I can even go ahead and put a TV in the middle. Then we can put like speakers and tweeters and then maybe like the amp across here with LEDs. And man, that thing will just look clean. Very clean. You know, I can even 
put maybe like a 32 inch, but even these smaller TVs like this 32, it would look so big in there because the bed is, you know, a decent size. And you know, the at night, you know, even this one, the Vizio has a nice picture. So at night, man, that thing looks so nice with like LEDs on it. Like I said, uh, 10 inch mid here, 10 inch mid, maybe some tweeters, and then the amps right here. Then with the blow through and everything, man, shh, hot shit, man, hot shit. And so many ideas that you can do and so many ideas I can give y'all to do on these cars, man. You know, we're, we're only, you know, we're only getting started. Like even this 24 inch is probably like a nice little price and it'll still look decent inside there, man. So the sky's the limit, man. You just got to be creative and see what you can do. Okay, so there you have it, man. You know, a couple of few items that you can purchase here at Walmart so you can get started and have them ready for your fiberglass door panels. And I actually brought you out today with these kids. You see what I'm saying? So, man, these kids are crazy. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed that Rolls Royce in the beginning. You know, there's cars scattered all over the place here in the city, man. So, a um, little different video today. Brought you out with all the kids and everything. Like they're over there with the fam. Um, Mom, so you, what's up, man? Look out. Oh, in a little bit. So there goes a few little items that you can actually purchase here at Walmart to get ready so you can start your fiberglass door panels and you don't need to spend all these crazy dollars here and there everywhere where you can just find stuff at your local neighborhood store, man. So hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. And don't forget to get entered into the uh, giveaway.